Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder X here back with more Let's Play Panzer Dragoon Saga. So what we're gonna do is we are We're gonna leave the camp and go to the underground ruins of Uru. Uh this is where we were told that uh Azel has wandered off to. At least where we expect Azel has wandered off to. So this is one of those if you didn't come here before uh, to revisit and get some of the stuff that you missed, now would be when you were doing it. Well, we've already done that, so... Uh, where does it put us here? Okay. So it puts us right at the beginning. That's, that's fine. We're gonna go... We're basically just going... Uh... To the, the end room, I guess, is the, the, the best way to describe it. Uh, it's the room where we fought the boss, the, quote, boss, uh, here the first time, with the, the laser flowers that shot straight up, that sort of thing. So, we're gonna go here, and the room with the recording devices that told the secrets about the Lightwing Dragon and Azel, that's where we're going to find our, uh, mysterious friend. So this is all really kind of backtracking. There's really not anything for me to put here, but uh, it gives me gives me more practice coming in here. So plus I have my full speed form now. Not really speed form, but speed seed, I guess. Uh, I can't tell you how many times I've forgotten that in various other playthroughs. I remember it's a thing, I just seem to have not gotten it. Alright, so, I don't remember which one of these is the, uh, the way to where I need to go. Uh, okay, so that's the elevator, that's not it. So, I guess it's this one up here. Because it would be something that I couldn't get into before without the dragon. So I guess this is it. Yeah, B2F North, I believe is where we need to go. So, coming through here, we have the light reporters. And we have this room where we had the ambrosia. And this is where we should find Azel. Yes, look, enemies after Azel who Azel seems to be uh, unconscious on the floater. So we're going to come in and use our dragon to kill some things. And they're just mutants. They're not really anything that's uh, really a threat. And I'm just going to take them out all at once, because we're going to head back to head back to the, the camp here shortly. So... We're just gonna do this. And what's one we haven't seen? Um, I don't think we've seen Onslaught. It is one of my favorites. So, uh, we're gonna do Onslaught. I like Onslaught. I'm okay with that. I like the, the Wind Blade concept. Which, you know... Uh, one of the things I really liked about Seiken Densetsu 3 was uh, the, uh, the Swordmaster's full screen tech. The wind blades. I like it. Uh, reminds me a lot of this. And tying the two projects together. Alright, so we're back at camp. Dragon's recovering. I mean, that's why I just kind of decided to, you know, throw out 127 uh, BP. So, what's the deal with Azel? She probably, you know, is having trouble coming to grips with the fact that she's, you know, Artificial. And that's where she was... Yeah. Oh, no? That's not where she was made. Oh, well. I was not born, I was created. Okay, so she's... Using semantics at this point. Yeah, we can... I mean... We can trust Gash. Kind of. Alright, baby dragon snores. Alright, is there anything else I need to do, or... We can... Let's talk, let's see if she knows about Sestren. Because that's, you know, the newest thing we haven't really gotten into. 
I know the name, but I don't know what it means. My role is to control the tower. Okay. So yeah, that's really it. Now we just get to go back to the Seeker Stronghold. Why I'm at the caravan, I'll never know. So we're going to go to the Seeker Stronghold and uh, we're going to talk to people and figure out what the plan is from here. Because now we're kind of at a loss. Like, we could destroy the tower, but really the Emperor's dead. The Grigorg's destroyed. We're preparing to send the souls... The souls of the dead back to that one. Okay. Uh, sure, I'll hang out for a seeker funeral. That. Oh, and it's an FMV scene. How impressive. That's a little, uh. defeatist, really. Like, you've got nothing to fear at this point. But I guess we're gonna go after Sestrin, but. And you still have me, I've got a dragon. I, okay, I'm. Like I said, I'm just really confused as to why the defeatist attitude is like the m most powerful weapon of the Empire has been destroyed. We have a dragon. Like, there's a dragon on the side of the Seekers. Like, I'm on... If, if anyone that I would have lied with, it, it would be, you know, Gash. He's been all right. I guess there's still too many monsters? I... I... From the tower, I, I guess. And speaking of Azel, but it just—it seems very defeatist. Like Empire's pretty much toppled. Crayman's forces are gone. It, unless the tower is still producing monsters, which I guess is what they're discussing. But it's like dragon beats all at this point. Like. I, I've yet to find something that can stand, you know, toe to toe against me. All right, and Azel's doing the noble sacrifice gesture. All right, so we're gonna go with Azel, and we're gonna blow up the tower. So, which hopefully, if we find Ses. Uh, Sestrin's connection with this tower. When we blow up this tower, we can destroy Sestrin, which will destroy all the other towers on the planet, which would uh, end the biological weapon problem. I guess end the monster problem. But I would only assume that would destroy the monsters that were in the towers. It seems like monsters have been spilling out of the towers. Do you remember the valley? Yeah, it was the uh, excavation site. Oh, so that's where he's going to relocate the Seekers. Which I, I, I wouldn't go there, of all places. Their hand gestures confuse me, but okay. So yeah, now we get to go back into the tower. So, um... We can go back and talk to Zadok and he'll give us another, uh, another book, which I haven't been keeping up with the books, but I mean, I've been getting them, so... I guess they, the, the, the text gives me more information as to what is the deal with this world and why because looking at it just from this point of view it's like we've we've won but gash and the seekers like yeah no we've got to go we're we're defeated this time but maybe in 30 years so we get tower report two 
Um, let's read that one, since like I said, I haven't been keeping up with the books. I sh probably should. Tower Report 2. A uh, record by compiler Feltman. The following is a summary of the data recorded of the information unit found near Uru. Contents include the construction of the tower located north of Uru. If anyone is determined to reach the tower, it will be a very difficult journey. Okay, so that's not anything of importance. Like, see, that's the thing. Some of these don't really give you any information. Like, that's something we already knew. We knew getting to the tower was hard, but we've reached the tower. We now can get to the tower. We've destroyed uh, Melkava, which was basically the tower's protection. So... Uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna leave the stronghold. We're gonna go ahead and go to the tower. So, yeah. Like I said, I'm, I'm really, really confused as to a lot of this stuff, but it, it kind of is what it is. Alright, so we come back in through the upper floors, through the top of the tower, and we're going to work our way down, I assume? Uh, the route, okay, so the route we used for getting out is blocked. So, yeah, this is going to be great. I thought I could help you, but the controls of the defense system are complete. So, the person who is built to be in control of the tower cannot control the tower. That's a little disappointing. Okay, if anything happens... Because... You are not just the dragon's rider. You both share a bond. So, yeah. I guess we finally... And thinking about it, I was like, I guess we killed... a tall. Because... He's, if you die, the dragon loses his purpose and will deactivate. Oh, I, we ask about that since you and I have. Yes, and I will miss him. Oh, so we, we really did kill it all. I feel really bad about that now that we killed her dragon. Okay, so. Gate to the outer area. Locked. So, all these gates are locked, so what we need to do is, is just examine, like, supposedly, okay, what the hell? Go through the southeast gate? Uh, Okay, um, this is the problem with using certain walkthroughs, it's like, it, a lot of these walkthroughs just really not well written. And I know that this is kind of a niche game, so, you know. Alright, so I guess we can't go down that way. This is, yeah, it's not good, we can't go any further. Tower's defense system has identified us as hostile. Alright, so... Now, supposedly... We can get through these. So... I, uh, which one of these... That's north... I guess... That one? Give me a few seconds. Yeah, let's go through that one. So she got it now, but she didn't get it a minute ago. This is this is silly. But okay. All right. So now we can go through these. I believe that's the one we want to go in through. I don't know. The southwest, but. We'll find out, because it looks like it's... Pr 
pretty limited. Okay, so yeah, this is the wrong one. It's synchronized with the Guardian's reanimations. So that thing that I could have activated before, that would have been it. But since I guess the defense system wasn't active, we can't use that one now. So, now we'll go through that one. We're just going to wander around a little bit, you know, get lost. See what we have to see. Top floor of the tower. We have to go to the control area at B1F. So we got to work our way down through 15 floors of of things wanting to kill us. This is going to be just lovely, isn't it? I'm I'm going to love this so much. So so very much. Ah. Uh, Alright, so we go down, we're on 14F. And I want to say that these sections of the tower are also pretty linear. So we've got a treasure chest there, gives us a ber berserk maxes, and there's a treasure chest on the other side of that that we can't access right now. I'm very disappointed by that. So. And we get to go up, back to the 15th floor. This is very counterproductive. So, yeah. The, I don't, I don't want to do this. Alright. This is all really backtracking, too. Because all we're going to do is this section activates the, the rotor system for the door that we couldn't get into at the very start. So this is all this does. Sinking control of rotor pile 1 to direct access. So now we can go back through that other door. So that's all, all this was. All we now have to do is lock onto the rotor pile directly and turn it off. So, yeah. Now we get to go all the way back to where we started. Not... Not the best dungeon design... But sitting here thinking about it, it's like, there is only so much that can be done with the designs for a dungeon like this, um, at least at this time. I have a feeling if uh, there were to be a sequel to this game that miraculously came out today, uh, with how 3D platforming has, has kind of changed since this game came out, uh, and, uh, like open-world concepts. Uh, I really think you could have a true three-dimensional dungeon that we would be able to fly around in. Uh, which I would actually really like to see. Should there ever be a, a sequel to this game, I, I think that could be something that would uh, set this apart. You keep the battle system where, you know, it's designed around combat. Uh, maybe add in you know, another axis of movement instead of, you know, just left and right, you know, flanking forward, uh, left, right, back, side, maybe uh, above and below as well. So you could add on to the combat. I don't know how complicated that would make things. Like, if it would make the, the battle system too complicated. Because right now it's, it, it's fairly complex. I'd say fairly complex from the time. There's, there's still a lot to it. What? Okay, so that's not where I was supposed to go. I thought, or maybe that turns off the the spinny thing at the bottom. In which case, I'm in the wrong place. Let's see. No, it doesn't turn off the spinny thing. Halting operation. Alright, so now we can go... Now we can go down. So, yeah. Um, but this is actually where I'm going to end this episode, because we are about out of time. Uh, but yeah. That, that's just my thoughts on, you know, a new system. Uh, should this game ever... See, <laughs> by some miracle, again, this game ever see re-released. But uh, anyway, I will see you guys in the next installment. So, uh, till then. Later, everyone.